Hey everybody, welcome to another After Effects CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackford, and I want to show you about auto-orienting in 3D in this tutorial. Sometimes when you're making a camera move and going through your 3D scene, you get these ugly angles on your images or whatever you've got going on in your scene and you don't want to spend a whole bunch of time fixing them well you can use the auto orient just like in 2d so that the the uh, images or whatever you're animating towards always points at your camera so I'm gonna show you real quick I made this motion path for my camera and I'll switch to the top mode here and you can see I made this motion path for my camera where it flies through the scene I'll move this in the middle so you can see it's, it's just going through the scene and I've got I'll show you the uh, properties here I don't want this on I've got the position and the X rotation changing and you see it comes up to this at the end and it's got this weird angle where it's like looking up at it but it's tilted weird and I don't like that so I'll show you how to make these so that they auto orient towards your camera so it's the same as when you auto orient in 2D on a motion path so just click and select your um, objects here and you can either right click on it and come to transform auto orient or you can click on layer transform auto orient and if you have all three selected and click on orient towards camera they're all going to auto orient so you can do it all at once now if I scrub through and just take a look at these in the uh, top view here and watch what they do when the camera moves along now you can see they're moving to be in the direction that the camera is and now when I get to this end one it's at a decent angle and it looks kinda nice so they're going to orient towards the camera and since I'll uh, go into like a custom view and you can see it again so that's how that goes I'm going to ramp review it quick for you and you can look over here on this side so that's uh, that's auto orienting you can also auto orient the camera itself so I'm gonna turn off auto orienting on these layers here transform and then auto orient and I'm turning those off and I'm going to take my rotation keyframes off so I don't want those on there because they'll mess with it now all I have now is a motion path for my camera as you can see in the left view and this is how it goes now if I right click on the camera and go to my auto orient I've got orient along the path and orient towards point of interest I'll start with path first and this is how this camera goes in this one it's like more of like a sweeping motion now you're gonna have to probably um, keyframe your um, rotation properties so that you're facing towards the right ways but this shows more of like a fluid sweeping motion while you're going through your scene one downfall of orienting along the path is that the uh, camera doesn't do what they call a bank and that's rotating on the z-axis so you're gonna have to definitely uh, rotate or move that property around to get what you like and it swerves a lot 
it might swerve a, a little more than you expect when you orient along the uh, uh, the path for the camera so you may have to edit your position keyframes so that it doesn't go so crazy now if you want the camera to follow the same um, point all the time while it's moving along its path you can orient towards the point of interest the way to do that is to go ahead and go to your auto orient uh, pop-up box and just click on orient towards point of interest and hit OK and now you may want to set your point of interest on something and you can do that in your your orthographic view so if I take my pan behind tool here I can put it on the point of interest right on this maybe this last guy here and then if I go to my right view we'll make sure that it's on him there Oop. yeah it's it's right on the guy there so that's we got that where it's supposed to be and I'll come back to my custom view so you can see what's going on a little better and zoom in so we've got the point of interest on this guy back here now if I move along in the timeline he's always looking at that guy and of course you're going to have to uh, animate your maybe your rotation values so my uh, X rotation had been moved to negative 8 probably when I was messing around with it earlier but now I have him right on the guy at the end and it comes right up to him so if you need to focus on something while moving through other stuff that may be before it or after it you can always orient towards your uh, point of interest so those are the different ways to auto orient in 3d and they're pretty helpful and help you not use as many keyframes and anytime you use uh, a lesser amount of keyframes it's less work that you have to do in case you got to change something later so thanks for watching this one and thanks for watching all the tutorials that I've posted so far even if you haven't watched every single one I appreciate it when you uh, take the time to view any of them so I'll see you guys in the next tutorial have a good one make some awesome projects see you guys later